It was a historic night here in the state of New Hampshire as Bernie Sanders comes away with a big victory in the primary following a close loss in Iowa. All is quiet this evening here at the state capitol in Concord, but elsewhere the political scene is anything but. And no guests here at the Kuberg Hotel on what was supposed to be the opening day, but still plenty of construction materials. We'll have a report on where the project stands. Out front of the store, the open flag is flying, and it will remain that way going forward. That's because community donations are pouring in, and the support for the co-op has workers excited about the future. We're here at Concord High School in Concord, New Hampshire, where in just a few short hours, Bernie Sanders will be holding his primary night rally, expecting a big day here in the Granite State. These days, you'll still see plenty of gas-powered vehicles out on the roads, but Green Mountain Power and other Vermont organizations are hoping to change that. Thanks, Mike and Camille. A man was injured at the Kuberk Hotel job site today when he was struck by a forklift. The accident happened just after 11.30 this morning. Workers described the man's injuries as, quote, crushing but did not provide further details. Due to the extent of the injuries, emergency crews on scene requested a medical helicopter for transport. It all started in early September. Well, it'll certainly help us um, just to have more uh, visibility and more places to stay, more places to eat, more comfortable accommodations. It's gonna be great for everyone. That's when Kuberk officials first let the community view the new hotel and committed to a December 11th grand opening. The two main selling points, a lot of jobs and increased tourism. This is going to bring a lot more awareness to East Burke, um, a lot more uh, influx of um, destination guests and people looking for something to do. Okay. However, the project hit a major mogul after a job fair in late October when news broke that there were issues between the project's general contractor and the state's Department of Financial Regulation. Peak CM President Jerry Davis threatened to shut down the operation if the state didn't approve delayed project payments. The state issued most of the payments, but rejected costs related to furniture, fixtures, and equipment. As a result, Davis decided to suspend those types of projects until further notice. Resort officials were still confident the hotel would be ready on time. Well, we're working like crazy there right now. Uh, we've probably got 150 construction workers there today. They've been working six days a week. Our goal is to open the uh, 11th of December, and that's still our goal. Right now, we're prepared to open December 11th. We have staffing. We are excited, and we're getting ready to uh, we're getting ready to roll right after that. So, ultimately, that wouldn't be the case. Last week, the hotel stopped taking reservations as confirmed in an email from marketing manager Jessica Sheckler. Days later, a worker would leave the job site in a medical helicopter after being struck by a forklift. Despite the setbacks, officials are pushing to have the facility open by mid-January. Reporting for the Vermont Center for Community Journalism, I'm Tyler Cataret in Burke. A big night for voters in New Hampshire. Bernie, 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 Bernie. Sending a clear message to the country, Bernie Sanders is serious about the Democratic nomination. Together we are going to create an economy that works for all of us, not just the 1%. Bernie obviously represents the people. There's so much diversity. I've canvassed with all types of people, um, classes, races, genders. It's really incredible. Everybody gets involved. This is so heartwarming to see that young people who are really the future of this country are involved in it. I've never seen people so excited. At his rally in Concord, supporters described a lively celebration. An incredible, uh, unprecedented energy, uh, passion elicited uh, that would otherwise not be there. It would not have been brought out by anyone else. It was an especially sweet victory for those who traveled from across New England to campaign for Sanders in the days leading up to the primary. We're looking at a situation where people from states all around us are coming to one state to knock on doors to get the message out about Bernie and his unique once-in-a-lifetime candidacy. Oh, it's been incredible. It's like the Super Bowl of politics. Like, I, I, words can't put this experience into details. All the snow trekking um, is worth it. When you get into uh, the building, you see Bernie congratulating you. And when you see on the big TV screen beating Hillary by 20 points, we're going to go to Nevada, South Carolina, and Super Tuesday, and we're going to win this nomination. Thank take you, New Hampshire. And now it's on to Nevada, South Carolina, and beyond. 
reporting for the Vermont Center for Community Journalism. I'm Tyler Cataret in Concord, New Hampshire. A Florida-based circus is facing hefty fines following a tent collapse in Lancaster, New Hampshire. Last summer, the accident caused two fatalities, a 41-year-old man and his six-year-old daughter. Dozens more were injured. The board of directors will be working with a proposed budget of nearly $17 million. The special meeting will be held at the St. Johnsbury School tonight at 6, where the board will approve a new auditing contract. This year was the first annual Soup Up the New Year drive, which was sponsored by Rural Edge. A total of 545 cans of soup were collected from 17 community businesses and then distributed to local food shelves. The Thaddeus Stevens School won the Golden Ladle after collecting 154 cans. Firefighters from East Burke, Lindenville and Sutton were on scene today when smoke was reported to be coming from a condo on Mountain Road in East Burke. On the gridiron, the stage is set for Super Bowl 50. Yeah, the Patriots are not they there. They are not there. <laughs> after sad their day, wins. Sad day. Well, I think it's safe to say we know where we're going for dinner after the show. I do love mac show. and cheese. Big fan. <laughs> coming up after. I was going to make a comment about it being just warm enough to go out tomorrow and clean off all that salt off the cars, maybe get the hose up, but I think yeah, Mother yeah. Nature is going to do that for us.